Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I was at the local Radio Shack today trying to find out if they had stocked any of the Adafruit products. That's right, Adafruit has a deal with Radio Shack where the Shack is now going to stock some of their stuff. Some Raspberry Pi kits, uh, hats, Arduinos, shields, Neopixels, uh, stuff like that. I thought that was pretty cool, but uh, my local Shack didn't have any. But they are having a big sale. Um, they call their STEM kits. These were two for $25. So I picked up two of them. The Build It Super Stereo Ear and the Build It Electronic Clock Kit. The Super Stereo Ear is uh, kit number 2770355. And if you can see this, 41 pieces moderate skill level. But as you can see, it is still made in China. And the product may vary by the description. Yeah, especially if you build it wrong. Anyway, I thought, you know, I'm always buying these kits from Banggood and eBay, all the Chinese kits. So, what if I bought one from, a, you know, a, a, an American seller? Well, of course they're going to be Chinese anyway. But what about the quality of the kits? Is the quality going to be better? So, let's take a look. They are packaged in nice static resistant bags. That's always a plus. And all the individual components are packaged separately. This contains an NE532, that's a dual op amp, an IC socket, and two microphones, some capacitors. Uh, red LED, uh, three AA battery holder that's pre-wired, instruction manual, more capacitors, some screws, a pot, a uh, switch, and a stereo jack did I miss an entire bag full of resistors let's see screws bag of caps another bag of caps hardware mic Well, spank my ass and call me Betsy. There's no bag of resistors here. Hmm. Back in a moment. It's more like two hours, not a moment. I ran back out to the shack and exchanged it for a bag. I mean, for a, a new kit that actually had resistors in it. So... Let's take a look at the circuit board. Very nice board with the white red silk screen. All of the um, components are marked. Uh, sadly, they don't mark the component values on them like the Chinese kits do. Well, I mean, this is a Chinese kit. We'll say they don't mark the component values on it like the one hung low kit. So that's a plus one for the one hung low. Yeah, it's very good looking. Let's take a look at the instruction manual. Blah, blah, blah. How to solder. Building the kit. There's our... There's our real instructions right here. Resistor 1, resistor 9, or 10K, blah, 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 blah. This jack must be oriented correctly. Do not misorient your jack. Or you ain't going to have jack. 
LEDs are polarized, toggle switch, IC stand. IC stand, that's an interesting way to put it. Electrolytic capacitors, potentiometers, microphones, how to determine the positive from the negative side. IC one, but see sadly there's no there's no information what IC one is. If I didn't know that an NE532 was a dual op amp, I mean I have no idea. Limited warranty. Alright. Well, all right, here's my overall first impression. I like that everything is bag nice. So that's one point for the shack. We've already given one point to one hung low for marking component values on the board that would cut my asse or, you know, assembly soldering time more than in half. Price to one hung low. I don't know. Let's put it together and uh, see what happens. So this will be one of my super fast sped up soldering extravaganzas. All right, there it is all together for you. It is a stereo, so we have two microphones. We have a pot to adjust our volume. There's our dual op amp, headphone jack, switch, and an LED. I got some batteries here. Something just popped out. Hey, we have light, we have power, and switch works. Yes. All right. I will plug in some headphones and we'll see if it actually amplifies any sound. Oh yeah, it's uh, amplifying the sound. The sound is very tinny though. I'm gonna put one of the uh, speakers here by the microphone, maybe you can hear. All right, I'm gonna turn this thing off. So that was a relatively easy kit to build. Uh, it took me about an hour being nice and careful, making sure all the resistor values point in the same way. Um, 
overall thoughts you're not going to learn anything except a little bit of soldering there's there's nothing really telling you how this circuit functions uh, quality of build everything is very nice components seem to be very nice everything was packaged all the component values were right so or if you want to build something for fun a little soldering practice have a nice kit it's all right if you like this video give me a thumbs up feel free to comment um, we'll build this one next time and if you haven't subscribed yet what the heck are you waiting for?